Good afternoon, Joel. This car is all yours with no one up front. Please make sure your seat belt is fastened. For any questions, wow, press that the was help close. button to speak with a rider support agent. Yep, it'll get close, but it won't touch. Jeez Louise. That honeycomb lidar is doing some serious work. This one doesn't have that screen up front. It, has, it says your initials on it when the car pulls up. So there you go, free visibility boost. Does that mean I can move this down a little bit? Oh, sure, why not?
somewhere else. Because the probably maybe the driving is good enough. Not needed as much anymore. That's the honey. Is that the honeycomb speeding up and slowing down? I don't know if it has variable speed or not. Something's like, mm, it's like a, I, I don't know. Here we go anyway. See, this is what I don't get, is there's, I, I saw, uh, I forgot what, I don't know, my sister's on Facebook, and my sister sent me some screenshots of people's comments on, oh yeah, it was a Fox 10 Phoenix post about Waymo, and there were a bunch of sad, uneducated people in the comments like, oh, those things speed and almost crash into me all the time, and meanwhile, I'm in the car all the time. And I've not seen it ever go one mile per hour over the speed limit, ever. No matter how hard I try to look and catch it in the act, it just won't. It's like, where are you people seeing this? Like, the amount of people who are just like, Oh, well, I was on a bike and it almost ran into me. And I'm just like, no, no it didn't. I was <laughs> like, what are you talking about? It's, it sees 360 degrees. Like, all the way around. No, whatever. Oh, poor sap. Gonna 
be stuck there for a while. Yeah, see the Waymo. Sometimes going, taking the scenic route means you get stuck somewhere in school traffic. I, I've been stuck in Tarwater Elementary School traffic three times before they finally removed that route. But I appreciate that they did. Some like, some direct engineer reached out to me through their support email when that happened and there like I actually had a one-on-one -on -one conversation like a human conversation that didn't feel like I was talking to a PR person that was kind of cool the actually See, nothing super interesting has happened to this video, so I kind of want to... I kind of want to take it through the school zone. Just so I have something to put in the title. Let's, let's do that, eh? Yeah, I like that. Actually, here, yeah, uh, let's try this. Destination updated. That is, mm, that is not going to go through the school zone. Never mind. updated. Well, there's an unprotected left. That's not title worthy, but, you know. Oh, uh, I think I just accidentally made it go through the school zone using some weird backhand, backhanded destination changing. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so now we are skirting the edge of the service area here. Okay. I, I have a title now. <laughs> well, it doesn't really matter anyway. Only about a thousand people will watch it, which is still a lot more than I'm used to. Which is, and it's really nice, but you know, it's like, how can I get the message out better? I don't know. Arriving shortly at your destination. Please keep your seatbelt fastened until we reach your destination and remember to take all your belongings. All right, here we go. 15 miles per hour, exactly. And no more, oop, yeah, okay. Somebody turn left, mm-hmm. Wait, what are you doing? Oh yeah, okay, I see. School bus. Unprotected left, spicy. Let's see, did I get towed while we were gone? No, I did not. Excellent. Oh, actually, I'm kind of glad we didn't go here because I would have been completely stuck. But that would have made for some good content, though. But you know, I don't think I have all day, so. I think I'm fine with that. <laughs> I accidentally saved myself from getting stuck. Well, uh, uh, yeah, okay, whatever. We've arrived. Mm. Please check your surroundings before exiting the vehicle and remember to close the doors after you exit. 
Yeah, actually, if I had just left that alone, we would have gotten stuck, and then I would have ended up on a rider support call, and that would have been my nice thumbnail, or title. Dang it, why didn't I do that? Wait, don't move, I need that. okay, whatever. Have I ridden in that car before? 43896? I don't think so. Okay.